Well, Wild Wildlife Encounters offers a home to wild animals here in the metro, as you can see here. I'm having a little bit of fun this morning while using them to educate the public. This morning, we're joined by Kip Smith with Wildlife Encounters, as well as Emily Getchman with the Omaha Public Library because they have some important announcements to tell us about the summer's reading program, including some animals that we have here with us. Good morning, Emily and Kip. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> yeah, so first of all, everybody wants to know these special guests we have here, Ziggy. Ziggy, yes. Ziggy, the this red little kangaroo. Joey here. He's so focused on like getting fed that um, <laughs> he's like, here, poke your head up here. And then we have Meatball in your hand. Yep. Yeah, Meatball is a three-banded armadillo. Oh my gosh, so we were talking about how Meatball looks like a Pokeball, right? Like, <laughs> like I choose you, right? Just coming out here. So I know um, the kiddos are like me. They love the animals. They love the hands-on oh, yeah. activities and the education. Tell me uh, what you have planned for the summer. Well, Wildlife Encounters comes to Omaha Public Library almost every summer for part of our summer reading program. And so it's kind of hard to think about summer right now with the weather like this. It's going <laughs> to be here before you know it. So starting in June, Wildlife Encounters are going to be bringing in some of their guests to the Omaha Public Library so that the kids can meet them firsthand. And then after they meet them, it maybe sparks some of their curiosity about the animals. And then we have a lot of learning materials for them to kind of continue learning about kangaroos, armadillos, or whatever those guests might be. Absolutely. Yeah. Could tell us, um, how do you choose which animals to bring to which session or what animals to bring to what audience group? It depends. It can vary uh, based kind of off what our themes. So our theme this summer is a universe of stories. So we're trying to bring some animals that are out of this world and even kind of some alien-like oh. adaptation of animals. So yeah, and hopefully, yeah, like Emily said, encourage some kids to pick up some books and read about animals. Uh, you know, if they get to see a real live armadillo or an actual kangaroo and get a chance to hold him and pet him, it uh, kind of sparks that curiosity to pick up a book and read and learn more about these animals. Is there a sneak peek at what animals are considered out of this world? Maybe some reptiles in the Yeah, summer? we have some reptiles too. Uh, we also have some scorpions as well. Oh boy. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> kind of some scarier ones as well. Um, I think Meatball will be one of the special guests as well that will be visiting this summer. I love it. Hey, <laughs> sleepyhead, wake up. <laughs> <laughs> It'll come out a little more. if it's. There you go. That is so interesting. You oh, said yeah. he weighs three to four pounds. And... Uh, he probably weighs around like two right now. But okay. yeah, full size, we'll see maybe three pounds for this guy, four pounds. Look at that. So interesting. Oh, yeah. The kids ask such amazing questions, too, all the oh, time. Yeah. And, and while Wildlife Encounters usually has the answers, every once in a while they're like, I don't know, go look it up. And that's, that's kind of a great way for them. And then they can give them other resources, too, for finding out more about these fun animals. Perfect. And wrapping up, uh, can yeah. you tell us where people can find more information about your program and your program as well? Yeah, they can check us out at wildlifeencounters.org. Uh, we're also on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, Omaha Public Libraries has Omaha their... Library. Uh, Omaha yep. Library.org. And also org. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So yeah, yeah find us find us there. <laughs> Thank you, Emily and Kip, for joining us this morning. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, guys.